Winter Memories has to go four wide from last. She's fifth, still eight lengths off the lead, a quarter mile to come. Summer Soiree, the leader by two lengths. Marketing Mix, then together. Winter Memories and Nereid move side by side, still six lengths from the lead together. Grabs the lead with Marketing Mix toward the inside. Final furlong of the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup. Together has a head in front. Marketing Mix is second down to the line. The European filly off one week's rest together. And Cole O'Donoghue take the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup. Marketing Mix was home second, then Nereid, followed by Winter Memories. The favorite was fourth. One minute, 48 and two-fifth seconds. The official winner of Keeneland's featured ninth race, 28th running of the Grade 1 Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup. Number two together. Owned by Mrs. John Magner. Owned also by Michael Tabor and Derek Smith. Aidan O'Brien trains and Colm O'Donoghue rides the Irish bred filly by Galileo together covers the nine furlongs over the Hagen course in one minute 48 and two fifth seconds the trophy presentation upcoming presenting the trophy for the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup is Keeneland trustee and director Louis Lee Hagen III Mr. Hagen and his family have made an indelible mark on Keeneland his father guided Keeneland as racetrack president and as association president as well his mother Alma daughter of Keeneland founder Hal Price Headley helped define Keeneland's beauty by lending her unique style and elegance to the track's decor and landscaping. We celebrate the legacy of the Hagen family and thank Mr. Hagen for his continuing work on behalf of Keeneland. Joined by jockey Colin O'Donoghue, who just rode together to victory in the 28th renewal of the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup. Tell me about your trip. Yeah, I got a great trip. Um, she broke real smart today from the gates, and uh, she showed good speed early, and she traveled really well throughout. And uh, um, she, she done everything well, really good. What's been the key to getting her to her top form since coming here to the States? Well, I think that she's always been consistent, you know, she's always run at the highest level. And it probably just takes that, you know, I think, I think the flat, fast track today suit her really well. She's by a sire of in Galileo, who is just phenomenal. He's just gives him that speed and that energy and that strength, you know. And um, she's a great filly. She goes on any ground, any surface, and she's top class. Does Aiden have anything picked out for next Saturday? I hope she pitches <laughs> up at the Breeders' Cup. But, uh... <laughs> Um, no, look, that, that's Aiden, you know, throughout the year. He, he brings them out, they're fresh and well, they're strong, they're healthy, and week after week they show that they're top class. Congratulations. Thank you, thanks for having us. Alamo Donahue, winning rider aboard together in the Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Cup.